black tape, gray shorts. Casey Radden, also gray shorts. They've got a black stripe in his case. Touch of the gloves, we are underway. 185 pound amateur title bout. Switch to the stance there by Johan Rubio. Inside leg kick and a body kick from Radden, and that is that Muay Thai, just flicking those things out there, using the kicks almost like a jab. Right hand lands for Rubio, though. Kind of stunned Casey there for a second, but it looks like he's got his composure. Again, when you see these guys that have had so many amateur fights, these guys are not unfamiliar with being stunned, opposed to maybe the first fight that we watched tonight. Nice low calf kick there from Johan Rubio. Another right hand lands. And interestingly enough, it's Casey Radden who initiates the grappling here against the cage. Casey is well versed in MMA. He's been doing this for a long time and he is a good grappler in his own right. Again, he probably does have more of the advantage in the stand up and this is probably more where Johan is gonna feel comfortable. Well, this is interesting because if you feel like you're going into a fight where you're against a striker and then he starts to wrestle with you, that can be a little bit of a mental oh, Kimura. struggle. We're going for the Kimura. He's still got his hands locked, but does not have the angle. That's going to be now, hard to finish. Yeah. Radden now takes the back of Johan Rubio, but they're standing. Drags him down to the mat. Rubio attempts a seated switch. Nice work there by Radden. Immediately getting to work with the strikes. Left hand oh. lands. Now they're trading against the cage. Significant strikes landing for both gentlemen on the far side of our fierce fighting championship cage. First of five potential rounds here. 185 pound amateur title on the line. You know, Rubio fought a guy named Tanner Hines who has extremely heavy hands in his last fight. And he ate some big shots in those fights. So you know he could take a punch. It's not gonna phase him. You even saw right there, he got stunned a little bit, but he's in this, you know, he stays in the fight. And he stays composed. I really like that about Johan. Nice duck under there by Radden. Once again, gets to the back, controlling the hips here of Johan Rubio, who has to turn and face. Eats an uppercut for his efforts. Trading against the cage again, slinging it both in individuals. And now in the center of the cage. Another duck under there by Radden. This, he's had some success with this, getting to the back of Johan Rubio. Just seems to be wearing on him, just trying to wear on him. Johan maybe with a little grab of the cage there. Selyustek keeping a close eye on it. Interesting strategy here by Radden. Again, unloading against the cage. Rubio working to get his back off it, eating three punches in the process. Another oh. right hand lands for Radden. Casey Radden teeing off. Johan Rubio. That is the end of the first round. Wow. Potentially saved by the bell there. Johan Rubio does not appear too much worse for the wear. No. But that is a strong finish to round number one for Casey Ratton. Again, Ladies and gentlemen, I can't like to remind express you this enough. To observe Both social of these distancing men have been in here and been there time and time again. Time. They've been hurt before and come back. Thank you very They've much. experienced this before. This is not something new for these two amateurs. Zach, let me just point this out. This is an amateur fight. And in one corner, you have Dwayne Bang Ludwig. In the other, you have Jeremy Horn. So good. That, that <laughs> So good. You could be at the highest level UFC affair and see the exact same coaching. That's where we're at right now in Fierce Fighting Championships. I mean, I, I, I'm a, as a fanboy, I've said this more times than I care to admit, I'm a fan more than I am a fighter. And when I was scheduled to fight Johan, one of the most exciting things was fighting opposite of Jeremy Horn. Freaking legend. Before, before I trained with Jeremy Horn, I actually beat one of his fighters in this building, and it, I felt the exact same way. I said, man, I had like my high school buddy in my corner. I didn't feel like it was an even matchup. Ratton gets right to work with the strikes, volume, volume, and then right down on a takedown attempt. Back to Rubio, the Kimura. Again, using this Kimura potentially as a switch. Nice single leg there from Ratton, and that'll be a seated switch exchange. And this time Rubio is able to work his way to the back of Casey Ratton. Casey looks phenomenal. Nice knee there from Radden. Rubio is biting down on his mouthpiece and swinging back, but the volume is all in the favor of Casey Radden. Several uppercuts landing. Now a right hand. More uppercuts. And a one-two lands for Johan Rubio. They're going to work here in round number 
for two. The mouthpiece comes out for Rubio. This is not an amateur fight. These guys need to be getting paid for this. Goodness gracious, punch after punch landing. Crowd on its feet. Johan's lost his mouthpiece, and he shares a takedown. He doesn't care. He goes for the trip, and he lands in side control. He's got the far side underhook. I've been underneath Johan Rubio in a training scenario. This is heavy Americana attempt. Radden is able to shrug it off. And now a potential crucifix position here for Johan Rubio. Elbows are not legal in amateur action here in the state of Utah. He's got both hooks. Both hooks in. He's a little too high. Radden shakes the monkey out of the tree. And Rubio attempts the arm bar here. He's got to watch that left arm as he's coming out. Jeremy Horn's corner yelling for the inverted triangle. That'd be a tough angle to finish, but I think it's there if he can lock up his legs. I tell you what, Johan Rubio is a guy he's who's got the got, arm. Oh. Now he's got this Kimura attempt again. Excellent work transitioning in this grappling exchange here from Johan Rubio to stay on top. One hook in now. Radden equally impressive in his defense. I mean, the chin on these guys. Get out of here. Back to their feet we go. Dave Selyusted says, let's put a mouthpiece back in. Well, because you know they're going to just start banging with each other again. This is crazy. Round two out of a possible five. The blood on the face of Johan Rubio tells enough of this story. Left hand lands for Radden. He goes right back to work. Rubio does not want to find himself up against the cage again. With Casey's Radden have, teeing off. Casey's having a lot of success there against the cage. Putting Johan's back. If he could circle out and work towards more to the middle of the cage, I think that's where he's going to find a little bit more success. Tell you what, that that exchange on the ground took a lot of energy out of both of them. Absolutely. Casey Radden, though, still pouring it on here. Late in round number two, Rubio answers. The volume is all in favor of Casey Radden, but every once in a while, Rubio will land a couple of significant punches in defense. He's doing a great job of covering up and then taking three or four shots and then landing a hard one or two back. A big deep breath from both fighters as they head back to the corner between rounds two and three. I mean, how great is this for an amateur fight? Get out of here. Tell you what, there's a lot on the line for both of these, both of these individuals. Johan Rubio still undefeated. Casey Radden coming back to his hometown, so to speak, to fight after training in Colorado with Dwayne Ludwig. Tell you what, cardio becomes a factor in grueling fights like this. Casey Radden looks pretty fresh. He looks great. Johan looks tired and keep it, man, Johan's output, again, Johan's not gonna quit, we know this. If he was gonna quit, he was already gonna do it. He's not gonna quit. Casey has a great game plan. He's got Dwayne Ludwig giving him great instruction over in his corner. Casey's not breathing too hard. He's looks composed. Again, they've both been here over and over again. I don't know if they both, either of them have been pushed this way. And oh, by the way, we still have three more rounds. Three more rounds, potentially. Although I will be surprised if we get all the way to the end. A big smile on the face of Johan Rubio. Pleasure is pain, pain is pleasure. Touch of the gloves. Round number three begins here. A little bit more measured to start it out than in round number two. Maybe but again, Radden it. walks him down. He loves that uppercut, and he's found a lot of success with it. Rubio but where he does the, what he does the damage is when he's out extending long, straight one-twos. Nice Rubio chant going in the, in the crowd here, as Johan has a lot of support. Casey has a lot of support, too. A lot of his friends and family are here. This is where he started his MMA career. More of those uppercuts shoveling into the chin and face of Johan Rubio, who really, at this point, needs to work himself off of the cage. Textbook pummeling there for both individuals, trying to reset the position. Casey is just staying so busy and in Johan's face. He's doing a great job of just kind of shutting down, I think, what Johan would, would more like this fight to be like. This is a Casey Radden-style fight right now. This is a very workmanlike performance from Casey Radden here in round number three. Nothing particularly, well, until that moment, nothing particularly sharp in the striking, but it doesn't matter. Johan with an uppercut of his own. Two. Another. 
trading uppercuts in the clinch. Radden continues to bloody the face of Johan Rubio. Rubio again is back flat against the cage here. And I'll have to say, when I was preparing for Johan, I never saw him pushed like this in a fight. And he, I feel like, is answering it very well. Uh, Casey is getting the better of these exchanges. Johan's listening to his coaches. He's in it. And um, he's trying to execute what he still needs to to stay in this fight. Unfortunately, he has no answer for the pressure of Casey Radden. Oh! Johan Rubio he drops, drops Casey, Casey Radden. He's still stunned. And Dave Sayustan waves it off. Casey Radden. Not sure where he's at. Johan Rubio. Wow. On wow, the brink wow, of misery, wow. puts Casey Radden down for a 185-pound amateur title. Dwayne Lugwood telling Dave Sully said that was a bad stoppage, but man, um, man, with the level of output and the damage taken by both fighters there, that is, I mean, man. Johan Rubio, no quit, no quit in either of them. Casey would have loved to keep going. And here's the replay, the right hand, it's short, but it's enough, and Radden's forehead hits the mat there. Dave Selyusted has seen enough, and I tell you what, Radden, when he stood up, he didn't really protest. I don't think he was fully aware of the situation at that moment. Yeah, he, he, he wanted to keep going, and of course he is. He's, you know, we're fighters, we always want to keep going, right? We, I've never seen a fighter like a stoppage in his life, but, you know, I mean, goodness gracious, those two did everything they could to stay in this fight. And, you know, Johan's finally just found the button. Impressive performance by both men. To and come back from the kind of pressure he was experiencing, Johan Rubio found a very, very small opening, and he sneaks the right hand in, snaps the head around, and Casey Radden, I understand why he's upset, that Fighters was an impressive fight. Change, please. Goodness gracious. And hey, those guys are going to be scrubbing the blood off the mat for a minute. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this fight comes to an end in the third round. 206 in. Your winner by knockout and new middleweight champion, Johan Rubio. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Fierce Fighting Championship on YouTube. For more daily content, make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the bell so you don't miss any of our daily fights, podcast clips, highlights, as well as our full weekly podcast. If you want to tune into one of our live shows, go ahead and head over to FierceFightingChampionship.com.